Hey there guys, this is Jimmy from Spin Retro. And in this video, I'll be covering Vagrant Story for PlayStation 1 on RG280V. Now this game is known for having issues of freezing at certain time, a certain point uh, in the game in the way in the beginning after a few cutscenes. And I'll provide a fix for that as well in this video. So let's start the game. I'll let you know exactly where the problem happens so you know where it happens and and also a fix for how to solve that issue. Let's we'll start a new game. Now our first cutscene will start, so I'm going to press start to skip it. And skip this as well. Okay, now we're in the game. You can use L1 and R1 to move the, move the cameras around. A is to enter the battle mode. Press A again to attack, B is to cancel, Y to jump, X is to enter the menu. That's, so let's proceed to the next room. I know Bat is going to attack me there, so I attack that Bat in advance. Press B to exit out the battle mode, and you can jump over this wall there we're going to enter the next room when we enter the, enter the next room the cutscene will play just play it out you can listen to their conversation or press start to skip it change the camera angle so this is the room that has the problem um when, when we enter this room, the cutscene will play one more time and the game will freeze as soon as the cutscene ends. So we're going to open up the menu, create, a, create our save state here, and then enter the room to show you uh, the freezing issue first. So the cutscene plays. I'm going to skip the cutscene by pressing start. And a, a second later, the game freezes and now this device is unresponsive even if I open up the emulator menu it doesn't work you have to reset the device so here is the fix for this and you only have to do this once in uh, in the beginning where the freezing happens and after that you don't have to worry about it So I'm going to load uh, my save state here. So make sure you make a save state. This is pretty important. Um, after you make the save state, open up the emulator menu, go to the core settings, and change the emulation core to int. Then you open up the menu again and quit out of the emulator. The reason why you exit out the emulator is because the emulation core setting gets applied the next time you run the emulator. So now the emulation core is set to int. Now enter the room. Now the emulation performance will suffer, but this will only happen briefly. As soon as we bypass this area where the game freezes, we can turn it back to a rectangular mode and we'll be fine. I'll skip the cutscene with the start button. Now the game no longer freezes. We can go ahead, run up to these guys, and you have to hit them a couple of times, make them hit you a couple of times, and make sure the game plays out a little bit. Um, I don't know exactly when I need to stop doing this, but Give it a couple of seconds 
So now we're, we are well in, in the middle of the fight. So I'm going to stop here, make another safe state. I'll make a safe state on my slot one. Then open up the menu again, go to the core settings, change that back to rec and quit out of the emulator to make that change in effect. So once you are in the game again, open up the menu, load that state, uh, save state. Uh, the, the game might freeze again and you just have to reset the device and you just have to load that state one more time. So now load that state again. Now, if this freezes again, there's another way to fix this. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. I'm not too sure why this it fixes sometimes and it doesn't sometimes. But if even, even after all this, if the game freezes just like that, what you need to do is, I opened a wrong game there, okay. So now I'm opened the right game. Go back to your first safe a safe state that uh, plays the game normally. Go to the core setting, change that back to int. Exit out the emulator one more time. Go back to it. Open the one with the uh, uh, with the problem. Just to be safe, make sure the, I guess, battle ends. Before making this footage, uh, I was able to successfully fix this issue without ending the battle, but let me just make sure that the battle ends. So it's almost done, bear with the game. Not in range. All right, I am in range. Never mind. I think it's worth mentioning that this game also has vibration motor functionality. So so we're done with those two guys. Uh, let's exit out the battle mode. Open up the menu. Save it one more time. Go back, change the emulation core back to rec and quit out the emulator to apply that change. Open that game again. Open the menu again. And then go back to our save state. So as you can see, now the game doesn't freeze anymore. So this is how you fix that problem. So it's it could be a little confusing, but once you get this uh, done first time, you don't have to repeat it again. So this is how you fix this annoying issue. This issue uh, happens both on RG350 and RG280, uh, RG280V and RG280M. So I think this is emulator-based error, not the device. Um, so I hope this video, I, I hope you guys find this video useful. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. And thank you guys for watching. As always, um, if you guys have any questions, I think I've already mentioned that, but if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Uh, leave like and subscribe for more content like this. And, and I'll see you guys in the next video.